Good morning, folks. We've got a trio of interesting articles to hit today, but we will be starting with the biggest solar blast of the sunspot cycle so far. We'll begin with a diagnosis over at spaceweathernews.com where we find the last 24 hours on the sun and 193 angstroms, and we'll be zooming top left to the incoming sunspots. A long-duration solar flare erupted from the area, and it hit M3.4. Not titanically huge, but it had extremely long duration, allowing for coronal particles to be fantastically ejected in a CME that still probably wouldn't be a grid killer if it was aimed at Earth, but which surely is the biggest blast yet in solar cycle 25 and would have produced major geomagnetic storms had it been aimed our way. The majority of the plasma is aimed left, however, and will miss Earth. Faint plasma possibly more widely ejected, but alas, a close miss overall. We did see one more elevation in solar wind plasma pressure in geospace right as the flare occurred, and Earth's geomagnetic field entered a brief storm condition overnight. We'll be monitoring the solar wind today and, of course, those sunspots, which aren't huge, but clearly have the significant potential to flare. Up first in the articles, monarch butterflies are supposed to be declining rapidly during climate change. Nope. Summer bounce back is making up for winter losses, and in fact, the overall number of the monarchs may be increasing. Solid article here on more significant electron precipitation into the atmosphere than was believed possible, and they watched it during a geomagnetic substorm event that wasn't even anything significant. The solar forcing of the climate parameters, however, was significant. Lastly, folks, a look over the last several Earth disaster cycles puts the Heinrich events in firm view, the 6,000-year cycle, and in their data, which is from northern Africa. You can see how not every cycle presents the same, nor do we see peak marks or dips at the exact places for each parameter. A key thing to remember, the entire world is affected somewhat during these cycles, like the one ending now, but it's luck of the draw which areas get hit harder and which get spared. We greatly appreciate your support. Our eyes are firmly on the sun. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.